Welcome back, dear traders. InstaForex analysts are always ready to share their forecast and analysts of the market developments. For a start, let's sum up the results of the last week. Financial markets gyrated for the whole week as major central banks presented their policy updates. The benchmark stock indexes fell on Friday, extending losses for three days in a row. The Dow Jones shed 282 points or 0.09 percent. The Nasdaq slipped another 1 percent. The S&P 500 printed the heaviest loss of 1.1 percent and closed the week at 3,852 points. Wall Street indexes opened on Monday with a cautious optimism. Analysts predicted that the stock market is poised to win back some of early losses. The S&P 500 is expected to trade in the Canada between 3,810 and 3,940 points. The U.S. stock market is unable to develop a full-fledged Santa Claus rally. Last week, the U.S. Fed held its final policy meeting this year. The regulator presented its green forecast for 2023 and signaled further aggressive monetary tightening. The major head-dash for the market is that the official funds rate will stand at 5.1% at the end of the next year. Wall Street is vulnerable to such prospects. The U.S. Fed is poised to conduct three rate hikes by 25 basis points each. This agenda dispelled investors' hopes for dovish notes in the Fed's rhetoric. The stock market was in an elevated mood after U.S. inflation softened more than expected in November. Now euphoria has ebbed away and investors are stoking recession fears. Federal Reserve Bank of New York John Williams dented optimism on a Friday, saying that the central bank could raise interest rates next year higher than expected. Nevertheless, the consensus suggests a rate hike of 25 basis points in February, and this likelihood is measured at 73.5%. Eventually, the funds rate will stand at 4.84% in May. Fragile optimism on Wall Street is dampened by economic turbulence in China. Business sentiment in the second largest global economy fell to the lowest level since January 2013, according to the survey by World Economics. Stock indexes in Shanghai and Hong Kong went sharply down, while stock markets in Europe and the United States traded steadily after a highly volatile last week. The economic calendar is empty today and thus market sentiment depends on the technical charts and corporate news. The hero of the day is Elon Musk and the scenario of his resignation from Twitter. On Sunday, the billionaire launched a poll on his social media platform asking users whether he should step down as a CEO. And he added that uh, would be the poll's results. The poll showed that 57.5% voted for his resignation and 42.5% were against this idea. Almost 17.5 million users have voted so far, and the poll is the last twist in his bizarre role as a Twitter CEO since October. Since then, Elon Musk instantly fired the top executives and thousands of employees, as well as blocked a lot of profiles. In this context, Tesla stock jumped nearly 3%, $254.70, but shed some gains afterwards. Moderna shares also looked impressive gains. The stock added 4.2% after Jefferies upgraded its rating to buy from a hold, thanks to the prospects of a cancelled treatment. On the flip side, Meta shares might be hit the selling because um, the European Commission said on a Monday that Facebook's parent company 
violates uh, the European Union antitrust laws. The company is accused of distorting uh, competition in the markets for online uh, classified ads. The Commission aims to investigate the matter and might impose a fine of almost 10% of the company's annual turnover if there is enough evidence of such violations. This week, the U.S. will report on its housing construction, consumer confidence and the PC price, which will shape market sentiment, and today the market is taking a breather. The currency market has also regained its footing after a series of policy updates. The US dollar is winding down while traders are absorbing the information. Its index slipped 0.2% on Monday to trade at 104.60. The intraday carried off of the index is defined between 104.20 and 105.00 points. Today, the US dollar has weakened against the yen in the light of the remarks from a Japan's prime minister who plans to revise a 10-year agreement to be the Bank of Japan. He wants to add some flexibility to the inflation target rate of 2%. The yen's growth put a lead on the dollar's rally, even though yields of US treasuries rose after the Fed's hawkish comments, the futures market displays that investors have doubts about the hawkish US Fed. Last week, the market took a pause for third because some economic data signal a serious economic slowdown. The US economy is losing momentum. It means that the Federal Reserve might halt its cycle of rate hikes and revise its rhetoric. Meanwhile, the Canadian dollar is taking advantage of the greenback's slide. Having gained 0.38% on a Monday, the US decard phase is now trading at about 1.3656, and the intraday Canada is seen between 1.3590 and 1.3680. The Luni will be sensitive to a series of economic data later this week, including the crucial inflation data. And today, the Luni owes its strength to oil prices. Crude oil rose today, following a slump on a Friday, because optimism about China's economy outwinds recession fears in the global economy. And besides, oil found support from the US Energy Department saying that it would begin replenishing its strategic oil reserves. It will be the first purchase after releasing the record 180 million barrels earlier this year. In response, both benchmark rates gained ground on Monday. Brent crude jumped 1.22% to trade at $80 a barrel, and WTI added 1.25% to trade at $75. As for the crypto market, Bitcoin missed the high of um, $16,800 and sank below where it has been hovering since then. The news on the crypto front is focused on the FTX crypto empire and its disgraced CEO, who will be delivered to the US soon. Besides, insurance companies deny or limit coverage for FTX clients, thus leaving traders without any insurance. Such gloomy news does not matter a lot for market trends. The crypto market is vulnerable to risk aversion. Bitcoin is expected to trade in the narrow range between $16,600 and $17,000. Make prudent trading decisions with the InstaForex analysts and see you tomorrow.